guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I can't do it with one hand. 10. <laughs> Okay, it is currently Thursday. I've had a long, long, long day already, but I'm just picking up the vlog camera now because I just finished a majority of the work stuff I had to get done. This morning, I woke up extra, extra early because we had a very early morning pretty basic recording session with none other than Natalie Mariduena. She's so cute. We had to do an extra early morning recording because obviously she works for David and she has actual work hours, so we got the recording in pre-work hours for her. She was so nice. She was so well-spoken and so intelligent and I was just really in awe of her. It was so much fun. I feel like I learned so much about her and I feel like I don't get to know too much about her from watching the vlogs because obviously they're David's vlogs. So I got to know about like her and just her life and her love life and all these sorts of things and it was really interesting. So that's what we did earlier this morning. Then I went downstairs, got the vlogmas up for you guys today, which you are loving so far. I just want to say thank you so much for supporting us. So appreciative. And then I started cleaning, got some cleaning stuff done, worked on my first ever sponsored TikTok, which hopefully went well. I was so excited to do that. It was so much fun. Honestly, I haven't ever done that before. Hopefully I didn't flop on that. And right now I'm actually doing some little stories for my Savage X Fenty partnership, which is this not the cutest little thing you've ever seen in your entire life? I am obsessed with this. I'm feeling extra confident today. I feel like normally when I'm taking these stories, I always get like a little sad or like a little unconfident in my body. And today, I don't know. I just feel really good about it. So yay, little wins. Did my makeup, did my hair, and now I'm going to send everything to my assistant to get everything taken care of so they can get turned in and hopefully approved on time. I really need to clean this room, honestly. This big pile of clothes is there from the closet that I didn't put away the other day. So we're gonna do that. And yes, it's just gonna be a really good day. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And yes, okay, let me finish working and I'll see you soon and we'll we'll clean up this room. <laughs> no! Say bye to my vlog. Hello. No, say bye. Oh. Bye. Okay, I love you, mommy. Bye. Okay, just spent half an hour chatting with my mom, talking about, you know, life things. While we did that, I put all the clothes away. It's nice and clean now. I just sprayed myself with some perfume. I've been testing out the new Ariana Grande ones. This one is by far my favorite. I think this one is Sweet Like Candy. It is really good if you like sweet, fruity scents. I am obsessed with that. So, now... I'm hungry, so let's go eat something. <laughs> all right, I just put all the other laundry away, walked into the bedroom, didn't realize Cal finished all the rest of the laundry. So sweet, and look who's here. Hi, little slothy. All right, I'll put this away soon, but I'm gonna sit and watch TikToks for now. Hello, my sloth queen. She my sloth queen. I love you so much. Yes, yes, yes. Cal's now playing his video games. Ollie's in a meeting. I tried to FaceTime Alicia, but she is in therapy, and I get no attention from my friends. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm just gonna sit on this couch right here. Can you hear Cal screaming on his game? <gasps> hey, bitch. All right, I'm literally gonna sit on this chair and just take it all in. Also, I started sleeping with the uh, windows open. Not open, but like the blinds not open. This morning was the first time that I didn't have them down. These curtains are amazing, but they're blackout curtains and I will literally sleep until like 4 p.m. if I'm given the chance. I also got them tinted with like a mirrored sticker kind of thing so you can see out, but you can't see in. So there is privacy. I slept with them open last night and I was awakened with actual sunlight for the most part. It wasn't too, too bright, but it was like, you know, bright enough. And I feel way more energetic today. When I used to live in downtown, you guys remember, I had those big ass windows and I never would close the blinds. I would just keep them open all the time. So I'd always be woken up by like natural sunlight at like 5 a.m. or whenever the sun rose. I think I'm gonna start doing this again because I just feel like when the blinds are too dark, then I can't wake up. And today I'm just feeling A1. I had my cup of coffee this morning and I've been good to go. All right, TikTok time. While I wait for my friends to give me attention. All right, having a bit of a later lunch. I've got some of the leftover Brussels sprouts from last night. Watched the last vlog for this recipe, so good. Got a little bit of chicken. I have one of these little mini laughing cow cheeses and then a few of these Trader Joe's, everything but the gluten crackers. Pretty good. Hi guys, okay, it's later. I just spent the last two hours shopping for all my parents and families and friends Christmas gifts. I got them all. I'm so excited. I'll show you guys what I got when they all come in. I am whispering because he looks like a sleeping little angel puff. We wait for him to wake up and then we can go do fun stuff. 
Hello guys, okay, we are now going to go to the grocery store because if you haven't noticed, most of Vlogmas I feel like so far has been just ordering takeout, which of course is so great. I love ordering takeout. Of course, it's important to support small businesses and small restaurants around you and things like that, but it can get pricey and also most of the time it's healthier to cook at home. So Cal and I just went through the fridge to figure out what we're missing. We have like one pack of chicken breast for protein and then we need to get obviously other stuff. Also, it's Trader Joe's. This is the first time I'm going in the holiday season, which means I'm gonna check out all the snacks and things. I'm gonna refrain and not buy too many things, but we do need protein and just like normal things. And I do wanna try and eat a little healthier in the next couple weeks because, you know, Christmas is coming up and once Christmas comes, I'm not gonna eat healthy. So we'll see what we get. Let's go to the store. Today. Today. We're we back. made it. <laughs> We're here for our holiday Watch shopping. Up, yeah. <laughs> Ollie went off on his own. Goodbye, Ollie. This is the best squash ever to roast and eat, so I'm gonna get a couple. They're only in season during this time, so gotta be careful with like your pick. There we go. Believe it or not, we are running low on garlic. Gonna get a few more of these just to have on hand. This will be good for one recipe for me. Just kidding. Alicia just finished off my balsamic, so gotta get more. Oh my god, I haven't been to a Trader Joe's in so long. I missed her. I'm also really into this bread. I got this one last time. It was so good. Ezekiel flourless sprouted grain bread. So good. Ooh, I'm feeling a little kale. A little saute sometime this week. Gonna force myself to have more salads this week. Cal really likes this cruciferous one. We're a big fan of this one. Oh, we like this one, the broccoli and kale slaw. It comes with like the dressing. It's so good. I'll do an arugula. We'll make an arugula salad. Ooh, jicama wraps. I haven't had these in so long. I used to live off of these. These used to be a personality trait for me. They've got a cute little holiday section. We got turkey, cranberries, sweet potatoes, cranberry sauce. Oh, the holiday vegetable hash is still out. I will say I tried it. I wasn't obsessed with it, but it was good. It just had like a lot of sage flavor which I don't like too much of them. We got more, oh, we got butternut squash, mirepoix, green beans. How cute is this little section? We got the little holiday olive oils, the panettone cake, is that how you say it? <gasps> Stroopwafel mix, I love Stroopwafels. <gasps> Mmm, this would be a good holiday gift for someone. Ooh, these two, yum. I just shrieked, I'm not even kidding. I've been looking for these ever since I moved to this new city and I've never found them. Oopsies, we put her back. I'm getting two, I'm so excited. I got Ollie to take them, I know. They've never had them in stock, I know. They went viral on TikTok and then they were gone. They're so cute, you can put them in the air fryer. We've got a little holiday section over here. I want it all, I want it all. I couldn't reach, so I gotta get the tall friend to do it. Thank you. Friend, oh my is God. that what you're calling the tall friend chocolate lava cakes oh my gosh no hold back Romy hold back <laughs> just kidding I do want these I do have to get them <laughs> a taste test of caramels we got hot chili coconut blood orange balsamic ginger vanilla toffee apple <gasps> that sounds really good Holly literally got one of every holiday snack what is this ornament Oh my god, how cute! That's so fun! <gasps> Decked out tree cookies! Oh, those are cute! Where are the little gingerbread that go on the hot chocolate? I think they're all sold out. The dark chocolate stars are superior. I just finished my bag of these today. I literally just snack on these for fun. They're so good and they're vegan. Alright guys, we're back from the grocery store. We have a few bags of things to share. I am so excited. I got, you know, the stuff that we normally need and then I did get quite a few different holiday things to try. Ollie got only holiday <laughs> treats. So if you guys want to see the holiday taste test he's gonna do go check out his channel but for me we got a mixture of both <laughs> can I just say how nice Trader Joe's employees are do you she see the TikToks that said that they're paid to give you a product recommendation oh <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was referred many products that I did purchase. There were a few things though that, you know what, I don't believe that because I was already checking out and I had already had it in the cart and one of the ladies was like, have you tried this? It's amazing and I was already buying it. Yeah. So I think they're just nice people. That's I what agree. I choose to believe. Either way, they were so, so sweet. So I got a plethora of different items. First up, I just got a bunch of bananas to have as snacks to have in smoothies, you know, just a good banana. Once upon a time, I did get a very nice tutorial from someone here in the room with this banana. 
Ooh. Next up, I picked up this cookie mix, which I've tried one time before. This is what the lady said was so good. She told me she got it for her sister's stocking stuffers. <laughs> we were really chatting it up. I said, what a great stocking stuffer. So affordable, so delicious. You mix this with like two Aww. sticks of butter and an set? egg. So it's definitely not healthy, but it is so delicious. You can make it. I saw Blogilates made corn cookies and mixed it into her homemade ice cream. Ladies, I am filming right now. Quiet on set. Quiet on set. <laughs> Now, ladies, <laughs> ladies, can we just two minutes, two minutes and two minutes only. I don't know if we're gonna get any quiet. Okay, so anyways, these are delicious and they're seasonal. So I'm gonna go back within the next couple months and get a couple more just to hold throughout the year. You really only need like one cookie. It's so satiating and so delicious. So one. I got those. One, one. Wow. Okay, next up, as I told you guys, I've been looking for these for literally nine months. These are the mini Brie <laughs> Bites. These like actually blew up on TikTok and then I was never able to find them, but they're little individual circular Brie's. I think I got them at like the top of when I first moved here and then I just haven't been able to find them again. They are delicious. The girl on TikTok put it in the air fryer and let it like, Okay, hold on. Okay, the girl on TikTok put it in the air fryer and let it get all puffy and then put jam on top of it. I will just be eating this plain, but they're like the perfect little size of brie. I love brie cheese so much. It's my favorite cheese, so I had to get those. I will go through them and they also do last. Oh my God, they last till next September. They love will be that. gone by next month. Just letting you know. Okay. How do they last that long? Balsamic vinegar. You, that's a good question actually for brie cheese. Maybe if you keep it in the little airtight package. That must be it. Okay. We got some lean ground turkey to have, you know, with things. Lean, lean things. Lean things. We got butternut squash. I just realized you really do just sit and watch me talk. I All the it. comments have been like, he's like, it's so attentive. <laughs> we stand in this house. Okay, we got butternut squash zigzags. Chicky, you should try these. They're so good if you air fry them with a little everything but the bagel seasoning. Throw it into a salad. It adds a little mm, to the salad. A okay, little. Mm -mm. I got a new garlic powder because I go through this so, so fast. So I got that and it's the cheapest there. Also, it's like granny Garlic versus like the actual like thin garlic powder. So I like the flavor of this. So you put it in your water. More. I do put it in my water. I rip my glasses with it. I do a lot with it. We got lemons because I've been really craving lemon water. Honestly, I might have some tonight. Okay, next up, I got more cheese. Oh. I've never seen this before, but it had a little it's back tag on it, meaning it's popular. This is raclette cheese. Do you know what a raclette is? No. It's when you go to, I'm guessing Italy, somewhere in Europe where they have the cheese on the pan and the, or like the, the wheel and then they just yeah. like oh. I think that's what it is so it looks like there's slices that you can put on top of like potatoes or bread or pasta I don't know I don't even know what kind of cheese it is but I just thought it'd be fun for like a little date night one night to like try and make that you know stay in be safe <laughs> we got blueberries we got oh Kumquats. I saw these Lord. and I love kumquats so much. They're really, really high in vitamin C. So I wanted to get these to stay nice and healthy and they're delicious and sour. I got new crackers because we don't have any crackers anymore for cheese boards. And this is a trio of three different kinds, rosemary, red chili, and garlic. I've tried these before. They're very delicious. I also got <gasps> some holiday snacks. I am a big, 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 big stan of marshmallows and in particularly peppermint marshmallows. So these are chocolate covered peppermint marshmallows and I've never tried this specific kind, but I'm sure they'll be good. I also got little mini peppermint marshmallows for hot chocolate. And then I got two dozen eggs because we go through eggs very quickly in this household. We're an egg house. We are an egg house. Last, uh, actually there's a lot more. Yeah, there's a lot more. <laughs> we still have two bags. Okay, I'll go through faster. Arugula. This salad is so good. I talked to you already about it. It's broccoli and kale slaw. It comes with dried blueberries, slivered almonds, sunflower seeds, and then a little dressing. So good with any protein. I talked about these. I eat these as snacks. I literally sat at my table today and ate them. Insert video here. I like these because they're really, really cheap and they're easy to just like snack on. I like to save the more expensive, like nicer chocolates for baking and things like that. So I just snack on these and they're really, really good. Not too sweet at all. Just a little semi, if you will. I got jicama wraps to make tacos with. Jicama. I got mango chunks. These were my favorite thing in college to eat. You eat them when they're just like this, this texture. Lightly, lightly, lightly thawed. So good. It tastes like ice cream. Get the uh, non-organic kind. For some reason, they just always taste a little better. So <laughs> I get those. Cherry tomatoes, of course. Gorgeous. Tuscan kale, of course. Gorgeous. One potato. A single tater. Two potato. Two potatoes. Three potatoes. Three potatoes. Then I got Cala barbecue chicken.
chicken salad for work? Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. A bag of little sweet potatoes. They have the perfect size little sweet potatoes there for like a, a single serve. A small whop, a uh, wet ass potato. We also got the delicata squash. So good to roast, so yummy. Squash Ollie's not lover. a fan. Garlic, as I showed previously. Okay. One more. One more. We got easy Ezekiel bread, healthy bread. So, so good for avocado toast. We got... <gasps> Scandinavian tidings. I've seen the Scandinavian swimmers all over TikTok, and then when I saw they have a holiday one, I had to try. I need to try, I'm gonna try them right now, actually. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Give the people what they want. I'm very particular about my gummy candies. I like a specific texture, and I've never tried the other ones, so I'm just curious to see. But every time I watch one of those TikTok Trader, ooh, they smell promising. The TikTok videos seem like they're gonna be up to my standards. Oh my god, yes. Oh, wow. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know what flavor that is. Mmm, 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 mmm. Bone apple tea. It has the same texture and same flavor almost as a blue Scooby Doo snack. What? Do you remember those? The blue Scooby Doo fruit snacks? I tried the. Oh my god. It's the perfect consistency. Oh my god, it's like gummy. It's pretty good. What flavor did you check? Red. Try the yellow. The red's okay. The yellow by far is the best. Mmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mmm, the green is apple. Wow. Okay, wait. I don't know what flavor is supposed to be what. Please let me know down below if you know. Wow. Garlic spread, of course, needed to replenish that. I got lots and lots and lots of tomatoes because I like to make my toast with the garlic spread and tomatoes on top. So good. Ooh, I got this peppermint chocolate chunk cookie mix. Another little cookie mix here. Also a great stocking stuffer. These last really well in your pantry, which is why I got them, so I can just keep them for a long time, cook them when I feel like it. They yield a lot of cookies. I've never tried this one, but the corn one makes like 24 cookies. There's a lot of cookies. I got chicken bone broth just to put into a mug and heat up and sip, you know, at nighttime. It's good for you. Also, I just like the flavor of it, so I got that. I got the mini hold the cones. These are little mini ice cream cones, and this specific flavor is peppermint, which is why I needed to get it. So it's for the holidays. I love, love, love peppermint, as we know. Okay, I'll go faster. I got this uh, Baton Lovers Quartet. These are like little wafer cookies. Again, also a holiday thing, so I wanted to try them. It comes with hazelnut, chocolatey orange, cocoa. Oh, cocoa and cookies and cream filling. I love baton cookies and I love all those flavors, so these will last me a long time as well. They're good for another two years, so we've got them for a while. I got Cal these alcohol little truffles because I thought they were cute and I feel like he'll love them. More tomatoes. Sorry, battery died. One last thing. Literally one last thing. We have frozen shrimp here. They're so giant at Trader Joe's. Really inexpensive and really easy to keep in the freezer. Just throw in when you want to add a little more protein to something. So, that is a huge Trader Joe's haul. We got lots of stuff. Now I'm gonna clean out the fridge and uh, you can watch me do that if you'd like. Let's Sexy. go. Fun times. I haven't done this in a while. Okay, you guys can play now. It's time to play. There you go. Sister playtime. <laughs> okay, this is what we got going on in the fridge currently. We have up here, honestly, there's like a lot of drinks. We have the pack of chicken that I talked about. We got, oh, we got a rotisserie chicken too. Perfect Snacks sent me a bunch of their perfect bars and their little peanut butter cups, and they're all just kind of throughout the fridge. We have some old ravioli. That's still good, but it's, it's definitely old. Leftover Brussels sprouts, a bottle of wine. I don't know when we use this. I think I actually use this to cook with, so that's why we had it, so we got that. Lots of different like jams and things down here. Here. All the sauces on the side. We've got a few eggs. These are all hard boiled, so I had to get some new eggs, like raw eggs. Cheese drawer is always usually full. Oh, we got dates in there. I gotta take those out. We got cheese in here. Cal keeps that full always. For produce, we had two apples and a Korean pear, some Brussels sprouts, some cucumbers, a half a cabbage and uh, broccoli. That's what we got going on. Also ample amounts of sour cream. So let's organize this, shall we? All right, the big reveal. Dun, 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 dun. 
this is our fridge. I'm gonna do a fridge tour for you guys. Welcome to my fridge. Okay, first up over here, we have soju. We also have some of Cal's favorite beer, Ho Garden, Ho Garden. Over here, we have my Oatly. We have Daisy and Moana's canned food. Here we have coffee creamers. We've got Coffee Mate. We've got my favorite Califia almond milk peppermint cocoa one. We have bone broth here and like mixers in the back. Right here, we've got our perfect bar or perfect snacks rather. This looks like a straight up Trader Joe's slash Whole Foods aisle. I am digging it. Thank you to Perfect Snacks for sending this over. Here we put the salads and the chicken. Here is my little dispenser. If you've never seen this, I found it on TikTok. It's from Amazon. It's basically just like a beverage dispenser. It just keeps everything nice and clean and organized and I really, really, really like it. In here, we have everything from Dr. Peppers to the Bud Light Seltzers. We have my Celsius. We have Alani New. We have kombucha. I am not a kombucha fan, but both Whitney and Sarah like it. So I have it on hand for them to drink when they come to work. Got some wines and random things there. Down here, we have the jicama wraps. We've got the dates and the leftover Brussels sprouts back there. Hello. Then we have our raw meats here. I just have my chicken and my ground beef or ground turkey. In the back, we have cream cheese, that pasta. And then I like to keep a little section for like used produce and things or like half used things so that we don't lose them in different drawers and then not ever get to them. So we have a half an avocado. We have an onion saver. Down here, we have eggs. So again, these are my soft boiled eggs. And then we have two dozen raw eggs, which I actually will go through in a couple weeks. But over here, we have all the sauces. So I put the dips, my favorite Miyoko's butter, all of those like jellies for like charcuterie boards and things. The bread is there. This is the cheese drawer again. And then down here, we have fruits. I also put the butternut squash there and then all the greens and the veggies down here. So that is the fridge. She looks amazing. Very proud. Okay. So for today's small business feature, I wanted to share this amazing company called Cool Apparel. A girl named Catherine owns the shop and she has the cutest, cutest, cutest stuff. I've shared her with you guys before and she's so, so sweet. So I wanted to share this with you guys today. Hold on. I need a pair of scissors. Okay. So cool is spelled C-U-U-L. I will leave her links down below. We have some cute little merch things to show you guys. <gasps> oh my god, okay. Look at these adorable sweatshirts she's selling. Hello? Hi, babe. Oh, yeah, I couldn't catch Moana, but I got her. She was running for like 20 minutes. Oh, sorry. That's okay. Look at the sweatshirt that my friend sent me. That's cool. It's Ariana, and it says, I'd love to see me from your point of view. Chicky. Look at this. <gasps> It's so cute. This is Very amazing. Nice. I'm gonna live in this now. You guys can check her out down below. I she also. Huh? Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, babe, look what I got you. Look at that green box. Oh, no, what is this? Come show the camera. Oh, what? Do a taste test. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay, bye. <laughs> She's also selling cute little Ariana ornaments. This artwork is absolutely incredible. <laughs> this is going right on my tree, that's for sure. Oh my God, she also has these ornaments with a little Grinch hand throwing 2020 in the trash. Obsessed. These are literally both going on my tree right now. Also, there's this adorable sweatshirt that says Mary in bright with this like red plaid and then it has gold glitter. This is so cute. I feel like these are absolutely perfect holiday gifts to give someone in your life. You guys have to check her out. Again, link down below. Absolutely love her. Also, I got a package from Wildflower today, so I thought that I, I would that? open this up together. Yes. Do you mind if I taste test just for Oh, now? please. Oh Whoa. my God, they're so little. There's gin, whiskey, rum, and Prosecco. I'm gonna try the gin. Which one's gin? I think, it's the, I think the first one, the yeah, little milky. Yeah, the ugly looking one. Yeah, <laughs> they look a little crunchy. Dry her. Is it filled with it on the inside? Is it like wet? Tastes a little bit like gin, yeah. Interesting. Anyways, wow. okay, Wildflower Cases sent over a box by of different, I'm assuming phone cases, in case you guys have not heard of Wildflower. I love them. I collabed with them on a case. Has it been two years? No, one year ago, one year ago. Love them so much. We're hoping to have Sydney and Devin also on the podcast soon, which will be so much fun because they are absolute icons. <laughs> <gasps> How cute. Oh my God. Okay. We've got a cute little holiday package. It looks like here. New little phone cases. They always have the cutest little stickers. We have a fuzzy little pink ribbon. <gasps> oh my God. Oh, I love both of these phone cases. Okay. They just dropped. It looks like these pink versions. There's like a little moon and star one and then a little uh, checkery one. Ooh. Okay. I definitely need to switch up the phone case. Okay. I'm going to switch to this one right now. That one is so, so cute. Side note, guys. I did the sponsorship with life proof like a month ago or so i like for real if you drop your phone a lot get this case i don't know if you can see i've dropped my phone so so much <laughs> like i just literally like chuck it at the ground i feel like it's gotten like torn 
up on the sides because I drop it so often, but this thing has protected my phone like no other. We'll give her a little break though. We'll switch to this case. All right, she's all dressed up in her new little outfit. That is adorable. Thank you so much again to Catherine. Thank you to Wildflower. I will link everyone down below. And now I'm gonna get to editing this vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Be sure to come back. It's gonna be another fun day. Love you guys and I'll see you then. Bye.